Welcome to the B.F. Anderson Technical Report for September the 3rd. I'm going to jump right in here with the indexes and the indicators. The one indicator here that we look at every week is the Chicago Board of, excuse me, the CBOE Options Equity Put Call Ratio. Now, what we're trying to do with this indicator is to simply understand that we're dealing with an auction market. So in other words, if you go to an auction and there's more buyers than sellers, prices are going to be high. Whereas you've got more sellers than buyers, then prices are going to be low. So what we're looking at here is call, put and call activity, mainly by institutions, where they, in a way, are hedging their portfolios. So you'll just notice that when we get into extreme greed, market tends to go into a correction. So where are we now? Right now we are in greed, not extreme greed, but the market has been getting kind of hot and the put call ratio shows that. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to take a minute here and to look at uh, a particular trend indicator. Now, we do not use the 50-week moving average, but for illustrative purposes, I'm trying to show you the power of using a long-term moving average as a way to determine a trend. Now, this is the S&P 500. This is the 50-week moving average. Now, the name of the game is to get from point A to point B. Now, this is 1995. I'm showing a historic trend that was one of the most powerful trends I've ever experienced in my investing career. Now, if you look at you know the idea that the trend is your friend, you can see here how easy it would have been to have stayed put between point A and point B. And if you were able to do that, you made a substantial return on your portfolio. Now, here's where we are now. This is our, our current trend situation. Um, point A, point B. Now, where's point B going to be? Now, this is as of September of 2016 when this market lifted off into an uptrend and just like the prior chart which was between 95 and 2000 you can just see how easy it was to maintain that trend well that's where we are now in fact this trend almost looks better than 95 2000 now to kind of make the point this is 1995 this is the actual index that we're looking at now, what's interesting here is that you'll notice that the pri the it becomes more difficult. I mean, this is just more difficult than, than this. This is easy, very, very easy. That's why you should use it, because you want to stay calm, cool, and collected and realize when a trend is in place. Now, what happens in all trends, uh, you get an uptrend, then you get a digestion of the uptrend, where the price of the index must consolidate. Uptrend consolidation, uptrend, consolidation, uptrend, consolidation, uptrend, consolidation. Now there's, there's a couple of things to note here on that trend between 95 and 2000. You had a consolidation just about every year that would have challenged you, that you would have, you know, you would have been worried about your portfolio. Well, you'll notice here that, you know, you get a nice solid uptrend, kind of like what we saw back in 2017, but then you get about a nine month consolidation. Then you get an uptrend, then you get about a three or four month consolidation. Uptrend, three or four month consolidation, uptrend, pretty darn difficult four month consolidation, uptrend, consolidation. So if every time you get out of the market or freak out about the market that you have one of these consolidations, well, you're not going to be very successful. That's why the trend following is so important. So here we are now. This is the S&P 500 as of starting in September of 16 and where we are now. So in 16 we had a consolidation, then we had a rally, consolidation, rally, consolidation, rally. Now you'll notice here, like I pointed out in the prior graph, 2017 was a really very good year. That cycle or that trend peaked around February, January, February of this year and then we've gone into about an eight-month nine month consolidation. This is totally normal and what you should expect. Now I wanted to point out a, a, a negative trend which is this is the PGJ which is the uh, Golden Dragon China ETF. This is every Chinese stock 
that trades in the United States. So in other words, these are not the stocks that trade in China. These are the ones that, you know, I'm talking the Alibabas, the Baidus, those, the large cap Chinese stocks. Well, you can see here that this 50-day, 50 50-week 50 moving average that we've been looking at, and I hope your eye is kind of able to remember the prior trends, but you can see how it's just rolling over. You know, it's just doesn't look, I would not want to be in a trend that's rolling over at that point. And then if you look at the actual index, you can see here quite a dramatic drop in the Chinese stocks. Now, <clears throat> you know, China, uh, if, you, if you look at their economics and their economic situation, they, they really are somewhat in a difficult position right now, especially with the tariff talks. Now, I have to say that if you're going to negotiate with China, this would probably be a pretty good time to do it. Uh, their, their market is in a bear market. They need to do something. Now, let's get into the top five. Now, this is a watch list. And, you know, about a year ago, I mentioned that Amazon, it was all about Amazon, which, you know, I'm, I'm really saying to people, there is a trend in place in the market that you just cannot ignore. And really, it's dominated by two companies. One is Apple, and the other one is Amazon. So what I tell people to do is to go look for the cousins. Go look for the, 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 the companies that are going to benefit from this technology. Well, if you really think about Apple or you think about Amazon, it's really all about the chips. So the first stock on the list here is Advanced Micro Devices, and this stock is just continues to climb, continues to make all-time new highs, and I understand that they have new technology that will be quite challenging for Intel as well as NVIDIA. Uh, back to the, 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 the old trend. What is the trend? The trend is people are now using mobile devices such as the iPhone, and they've been trained by Amazon to where they can buy things over their mobile devices while sitting on their couch is what it boils down to. Well, this company Carvana is where you can sit on your couch and buy a, an automobile, a used car. Carvana just announced yesterday that they're gonna now offer one day delivery of automobiles. So you can sit in your couch, order a car, shows up in your driveway, you drive it for six days, on the seventh day if you don't like it, send it back no questions asked things are really changing now here is Nordstrom which is a brick and mortar retailer that is moving aggressively into the apparel side with you know it, you know buying off the couch for doing things over uh, over your mobile devices they are they are getting a web presence a web store now here's Roku uh, this is a, a interesting company I own the device myself uh, it is rev this, this type of technology is revolutionizing the TV industry, just along with Netflix and so forth. But Roku hit an all-time new high. The stock is really doing well on fire. Now, here's another example of you know, e-commerce. This is a company called Wayfair. Uh, we do own this stock, by the way, and I'm supposed to mention the stocks that we do own uh, for compliance reasons. But Wayfair is an interesting company. We just took a position in the stock fairly recently, and it is really taken off. It's starting to do real well. Now, this is mainly furnishings for the home, uh, you know, rugs, uh, sinks for the bathroom, if you're, if you're renovating your home. So Wayfair, in fact, I saw a report on Wayfair just the other day that said their earnings are growing uh, and their revenues are growing 25% faster than Amazon's. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, things are looking good, a little bit hot on the sentiment side, but you might want to keep a little powder dry, but this is an uptrend and a very powerful bull market. Let me know.